Hi, my name is Tobin Ost. I'm the set designer for Disaster on Broadway. Disaster takes place on the Hudson River in New York City. It's New York's premier gambling casino. Earthquakes, we get a tsunami, we get sharks. Any disaster film from the 1970s, which is frequently what this is modeled after, ends up happening on this boat. We, we really narrowed this down to 1979, and we really got good at saying, okay, that's two years later or two years earlier. It's amazing almost year to year how color changed, but we really looked at um, textures as well as colors. For example, chrome. Chrome plays a big part in this. Uh, it's lively, it says nightlife, it says New York and it says Gotham. We have actually hanging here uh, this thing that we've um, started to fondly call the disco mandala, which is uh, a big rainbow of, uh, of lights whenever there's a performance happening on the stage. We have a very tight color palette of uh, purple, oranges, magentas. We have the whole floor uh, bordered with this high gloss rainbow stripe. We have chrome and then we have this high gloss uh, purple for the column and then above uh, it's velour with lights inset into it. Any casino you go into, into even now you see a lot of shiny surfaces uh, and we certainly played into that as well as the darkness of the space. So even though it's a fun musical and it's buoyant and we needed the color uh, to, to play into the, the, the comedy, sometimes we also wanted the ability for this to get really dark and really sinister at the same time. When you think of disasters such as Poseidon Adventure, when you think of Towering Inferno, half of the battle is that these people are in an environment that they can't get out of. So they're trapped in hallways, they're trapped in small rooms. They're trapped essentially with walls, and so how do you put that on stage? One of the uh, biggest scenic elements in the show, and the one that we really use to do the heavy lifting of the storytelling, is an element that we started to finally call the gantry. It's this walkway in the back of the set so that we can have dual scenes, some on top, some underneath. We have these um, side columns that uh, actually move out and the whole things flip, then um, play themselves around all over in different angles. Uh, sometimes they're perfectly straight, sometimes they angle in. There's scenes that take place underneath them as if they're going to collapse on people. Uh, we cover up railings and so suddenly within 20 seconds we've gone from the boat being right side up to completely upside down. I'm amazed that I still sit in the back of the house and, and laugh like an idiot watching what happens on stage night to night.